If I have to see another uninformed, knee-jerk, stupid take on the 20-second clip that is going on on Twitter, I'm going to go ahead and redecorate the roof of my room. The way that Crowder is getting painted off of this clip, and funny, funny how this leaks last night, uh, and super funny given the fact that there's only two people that would have had access to that, and oh, just so magically, after a month of unbridled success on a new platform, after protracted divorce proceedings get leaked out to the public, after you have Daily Wire's wide-eyed attack dog get sicked on Crowder, then all of a sudden, Thursday evening, knowing that he doesn't go live on Friday, you just drop this little nugget? Hmm, it really gets the old noggin joggin'. And then to see all the moral grandstanders that are out there makes me sick to my goddamn stomach. So, I'm gonna be talking about this clip that's right here, some of the reporting that's around it, and oh, I'll have a whole lot more to say because tomorrow, Oof, strap in, it's going to be a big old stream because for Saturday we might be going early and we might be running late because we're going to go right from the beginning of the Daily Wire shit because, <laughs> oh, the fact that Candace Owens wanted to say that, oh, we had no idea, I didn't know until I, I just did some uh, Instagram searching, Jesus Christ, you could land a good idea between Candace Owens' eyes and she'd never see him coming. Christ almighty, the last time I see eyes that separated, they were on separate alphabet charts in competing kindergarten classes. Not to mention the rest of the trad thoughts that are running all over Twitter right now trying to morally grandstand. Oh, look at me at Trump's, inaug uh, at Trump's announcement for re-election. In my yellow knee-high dress, make sure to subscribe to my OnlyFans, you- Oh, there are so many things that I want to say about so many people. And then H333, eat then decline, you fat bastard. I don't know what's going to come first, that quadruple heart attack or your divorce yourself because your bitch is the one who's working out. Meanwhile, you're the one who's just working your bicep, putting ho-hos and ding-dongs in your face. I'd say something about your stupid brainlet co-host but the most indicting condemnation of him comes out of his mouth every time he tries to form a sentence Duh! fresh and fit are about to go live on this at least at time of recording and so far they've had the only good take that's been out there every other you know snippet commentary channel has made me sick to my stomach so i figured hey why not just run this back so what are we dealing with here right now and like i said for more grand context on all this stuff i'll be doing a full comprehensive strap in that bitch could be three to four hours long because we're going to run it back all the way from the beginning of the daily wire stuff including some other clips as well that um hmm, yeah you know how crowder alluded to when we went over the clip when he first announced that uh, announced the stuff on tuesday yeah it was on tuesday Day. Uh, he first said, yeah, if you thought there were a lot of people behind the scenes that knew about it, and if you thought they knew about it, they definitely knew about it. Fresh. From Fresh and Fit. You know, that guy right out. Uh, think about these. He knew about it. He fucking knew about it. Rumble knew about it. Daily Wire knew all about it. And Candace Owens fucking lied to people. Called it out at the time, but guess who? The same 16 dumb motherfuckers who want to come through on my fucking other tranny videos that are out there. Trying to white knight for somebody who legitimately doesn't give a fuck about you? No, nah, I'm here about the truth. Crowder could be a total fucking monster. Could have put that bitch through a fucking wall for all I know afterwards after this three minute long clip. But chances are, given the fact that there is no physical abuse that's being alleged, but there's a lot of revisionist history when it comes to this stuff, sure does get the old fucking noggin joggin, now doesn't it? but I am absolutely disgusted by all of this shit. And this was leaked last night. And I had to go check. I had to go check because, okay, when did this come out? June 26th is the ring camera footage. Oh, the three minutes that, he, oh, what's his nuts? Yashar Ali has. That's right, Aaron. Who's Yashar Ali? Oh, a former uh, Hillary Clinton presidential aide. Somebody who worked intrinsically and closely with the Democratic Party. Fantastic stuff. And then to have Candace Owens release a video titled Steven Crowder as a monster change my mind. Yuck, you irrelevant bitch. You have a 1.5 million subscriber channel and you have to yank somebody else's meme in order to be relevant? Holy shit. Imagine being that much of a drama-fueled, clout-jacking failure. Fucking disgusting. All of these people. They all suck. But yeah, the, the, the June 26th, hmm, what was this? What was this, like a week? Yeah, a week before, a week before 
Oh, his big heart surgery. Hmm, imagine that. Okay, he needs his wife to help him out because, yeah, this dude's almost fucking dying for Christ's sakes. Oh, yeah, imagine that. So put all of that shit into context and then you just pick it up right outside. Very fucking interesting. But then there's some idiots that are out there that just want to say, Oh, it's not taken out of context. What context do you need for somebody who has, and I quote, retrograde views and Saudi Arabia-like interpretations of what a marriage should be? You want this Tradcon fucking dream? Well, guess what? You have op you have obligations to adhere to at home. You're eight months pregnant. You're not fucking infirmed like somebody who has a collapsed fucking lung. Jesus. Mm. I hate disingenuous people. I hate people who leak stuff to the media in order to use it in fucking family court, which is already against the guys to begin with, just for a fucking sympathy play. Let's watch this fucking nonsense. I'm... I'm pissed. <laughs> I drew a boundary. I drew a boundary. No, no, you just did, you just did it. I drew a boundary in abusive and cruel. You were not taking the car. Okay, so this is this is all about taking a car because she didn't do something that day. I don't know what time this is. I don't think it ever gets illustrated, but okay, so June 26, 2021. I had to check. It was, in fact, a Saturday. It was a Saturday, so Steven's sitting on the back porch, having a smoke. Who the fuck knows what else he's doing? Don't know what time it is or anything like that. It's a Saturday. He has shit that he's going to be doing, and she's not doing the shit throughout the week. Okay, guess what? Like I said, trad con marriage. Well, guess what? If you want to stay at home, you have a household to run. You know what? You didn't want to live in this big fucking mansion with the swimming pool and the hot tub? Actually, I need to go ahead and fucking, you know, shrink this back down again because you can't read all the captions at the time. Yeah, guess what? It's a marriage. If he didn't want to do his husbandly things, you guys wouldn't be living in that fucking area. So if you wanted to catch an attitude about that, well, guess what? There's fucking consequences for stupid actions. You refuse to do wifely things, then I will go pick up the groceries. American groceries. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, if you don't want to do it, fuck it. I'll do it. But guess what? Then you don't get the car. They apparently have one car. Okay. We have no idea what presage this conversation. Clearly, it looks like she's about ready to go out. It has no idea because this is towards the end of the marriage. We're going to read a little bit of this breakdown that Yashar has right here. And yeah, she filed for divorce in December. They were already separated at the point in time where... Stephen was not able to be at the hospital at the time of his children's birth. So yeah, he had to come in on the next day. Fantastic stuff. So yeah, what context do you need? You snapped at your wife. Man, we'll just let the tape run. I'm, I'm heated. I'm pissed now. I have steaks, wood pellets, my grill. I know it's not a reasonable request, but I'll go do it. How about you first? Hillary, how do you respect the man? Yeah, the other man, the other man you see, uh, the mother comes back. No, okay, well, yeah, no. Hey man, this was the life that you signed up for. You don't want to hold your end of the bargain? Well, guess what? Fucking bye, see ya. No, no, I don't mean man. No, you're not taking the bus. You're not taking the car. No, he has shit to do. He's taking the car. It's his day off. Well, guess what? You didn't do the shit throughout the week? Fuck it. I'm gonna go get it. Yo, man, what's this What's this idea that these broads just get to go have a fucking free license that's out there? It makes zero sense. And for everybody to pussyfoot around that, it is absolutely fucking detestable to see just the capitulation to the whims of these broads that are out there. Holy. You are not then I will ask them to pick me up. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting. They want to point out and then, oh yeah, uh, influencer Steven Crowder caught berating pregnant wife. Who's the one who's catching a fucking attitude? I'm just wondering. Oh, Steven, I'll just do it. Would you like me to ask? In the exact same thing. Yeah, you can see her exasperated. Oh, she's pregnant. Fucking not infirmed. Christ almighty. It's interesting because those same commentary people will also say that women can do everything that a man can do and they can do it in heels and they can do it while having period or pregnancy cramps. But then at the same time, whenever the shoe's back on the other foot, oh my God, you're attacking a woman. You can't have it both fucking ways. Right. It's not Get an Uber. Okay, Stephen, I can't. Yeah, you can. Get an Uber. I got shit to do. 
We're, again, like, am I taking crazy pills? Like, what the fuck is going on here? Has everybody just become so fucking soft? Feeling some constraints? Steven. Like, I can't Steven. go. I, listen to me. Listen to me. You want to walk out right now? Listen to me. I can't go to the gym. I can't go to my parents. I can't call my friends. I can't go. I can't be home. You're going to take the car and leave me here. Hillary, just think of how boxed in you've made me. What do you need me to pick up? I'll get it. I'll be back. Yeah, he's got shit. It's Saturday. This motherfucker works incessantly. You have every opportunity to go out through the fucking week. Like, yo, you want to say that, oh, Crowder's just being narcissistic. He's being controlling. He's being selfish. I am. Am I missing something here? And yeah, this is towards the end of the marriage. They're bickering a lot. And he is not at all being unreasonable. Definitely back. No, that doesn't work either. You'll be back when you're back. That doesn't work either. <laughs> I, I, Do you understand the difference between my life being set to the second and you're going to be back when I'm back? Student? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm just going to start crying. A woman's tears are only real when they're by herself. This is just a, oh, please, oh, I just feel bad for me. That used to work in the past. They've been married for 10 years at this point in time, which is also interesting because in Texas law, and we're going to go over this as well tomorrow during the stream, uh, but after 10 years, the woman just magically is entitled to all of the uh, half of all of the cash and prizes that the guy ends up getting at the end of the divorce which is funny how long did their marriage last oh exactly 10 years and now she's leaking information like this so that she can get a preferential treatment in the family courts wow big shock but no 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 steven's an abuser it's discipline it's the only way out of it when we're at an impact he already did pass because yeah. you can't have any discipline yeah. yeah yeah there you go you throw your hand you give up so easy i don't give up so easy you give up so easily. I'm I just said the only way out of this is discipline and respect. You said then we're at an impasse. Steven, no, we are at an impasse. Okay, I love you. But Oh, that's just, uh, that's emotional manipulation tactics right there. Listen, I just want to do whatever I want. No, I have things I'm going to do. <laughs> Listen, I love you. Just fucking stop it. it, it again, it, how do you not see these tactics, you idiots? Steven, Steven, you're abuse. You're abuse is sick. Watch it. Watch it. Fucking watch it. I'm gonna let go. I'll get what you need me to get. And I, I need some space. We need to just talk and baby for a little bit. Okay? I love you. I love you very much. Fucking believable. I don't love you. That's the big problem. I've never received love from you. And the fact is, when I go, look, I need Yo, to why wasn't that? Me. Why? And now it's not even fucking. Yep. Okay, it did stop. That's interesting. Okay, nobody wants to point that part out. Okay. What about that whole love reciprocation thing? That's interesting. Oh, oh, Candace Owens wants to point out that. Oh, Stephen, that was so reprehensible when he said that, oh, he picked wrong. He's laying it out right there in recordings that he never wanted leaked. He's the one who's the workhorse, who, who does everything, who fucking provides that luxurious background. But no, this is a bad look. Are you... Oh, I just want to you know. Now, but I love you more than life itself. Okay. Put on some gloves. No. But I love you more than life itself. That's not fair. That's not fair, and it's disingenuous. Yeah. Hillary, you're right. Right in the past. Become someone that's you made. Day in and day out, worthy of a wife. Worth? No, not as a wife. I didn't say as a wife. Nice and edited, too. Very edited. Huh. Hillary, come on now. I'm not going to engage. I'm not going to engage anymore. I'm going to go. I'll get text me what you need. I'll get you what you need. I, I love you. I'm committed to you. Yo, that's just as... Oh, my God. That's about as dismissive as I've ever heard before. I love you, and I'm going to do what I want, and yeah, I'm committed to you or something like that. Except for you don't hold up your end of the bargain. Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not committed to Are you committed enough to do those things? That. You're not committed to anything. You're not committed to anything. You just said I love you and I'm committed to that. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Walk the dogs, put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? Are you committed enough to do those things? I'm gonna just walk the dogs. Put on some gloves. Are you committed enough to get the medication the gloves? Don't you take take that in. Okay.
uh, as the Crowder's head in the side, Steven gets angrier and angrier. Oh, okay, interesting. And by his own admission screams, I will fuck you up at his pregnant wife, Hillary, who then flees their home. Okay, does he? No. What, and then the rest of this just gets muffled or some shit like that? Oh, okay, cool. He doesn't even have that part. We'll just have to, we just have to go with that. Unfucking believable Yeah, the way that it's being reported, conservative media host and commentator Steven Crowder can be seen on a ring camera video berating his wife Hillary. That was berating. That, wow, holy fuck. That was the nicest fucking berating that I've ever seen before in my fucking life. Maybe that says something about me and my relationships or my exchanges with family members, but okay, who was at the time nearly eight months pregnant and demanding that she handle medicine for his dogs, their dogs, what are, are you retarded? Oh, his dogs, uh, that as she was concerned was toxic to pregnant women. Okay, well, I'm concerned that this mouse right here could give me radiation poisoning. Does that sound logical? If it's actually toxic, then yeah, there's a conversation to be had there. But he's also saying, okay, if you're concerned about it, put on gloves. That's where I'm like, where did that whole gloves thing work into it? Okay, cool. He's not home all the time. He has to work in order for there to be a fucking roof over their head. So yeah, you know what? If the dogs need medicine, well, guess what? You gotta fucking make accommodations. In the video, he snaps at her to put her gloves on and give his dogs medicine, walk the dogs, and otherwise perform wifely duties as she's clearly emotionally distressed. Fucking bitch. Not her. This fucking reporter. Towards the end of the exchange, Hillary Crowder says to her husband, Your abuse is sick. That's abuse. That's a... Yo, man, these motherfuckers are soft. Watch it. Fucking watch it. That, yo, oh, he snapped at her. Moments later, off camera, Steven Crowder, by his own admission. You say that. You say that, but okay, back it up. You couldn't even play the clip. Like, just back it up. Would lose control and scream at his pregnant wife in a threatening tone. After she was standing over him just going, well, I'm going to do whatever I want. And then he's like, no, I got shit to do. And she's like, I don't care. What am I supposed to do? Take an Uber? Are you out? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. In a statement sent to me by Hillary Crowder's family. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, they say that she spent years hiding her husband's mental and emotional abuse from her family. Well, in retrospect, they're going through divorce proceedings, so of course, yeah, I went under so much mental and emotional damage. Sure you did. That he lied about the circumstances around their divorce, and that he wasn't present for the birth of their children. That's either because Texas Hospital wouldn't allow somebody outside of one individual inside of a hospital room at the time, or for the fact that, hmm, during that point in time, he was also highly contagious after having his fucking chest cavity opened up and having titanium rods put in. But you kind of leave that part out. In a statement sent to me, yes, uh, by Cra uh, Hillary's family, uh, documentary evidence I reviewed while reporting this story backs up their assertions. Well, that's nice. You can just allude to it. You don't have to provide anything. Uh, the statement in its entirety is printed later on in the story. Make sure that you subscribe to my Substack. Uh, the ring camera footage documenting the moaning, moments leading up to the moment where Stephen says, I will fuck you up. What does that mean? What does that mean? Because you also say, because I read a little bit of this as well. Did she yell, I want a divorce, and he had already been in contact with a divorce attorney at the time? <gasps> oh my god! And then who was the one who ended up filing for divorce? Oh right, Hillary. So yeah, it was almost like he was covering his ass, and then you just decided to make a break for it. Wow! Neither Hillary nor Steven Crowder is contending that there was physical abuse in their marriage or sexual infidelity. And the audio files and text messages I reviewed, Steven Crowder admits to some of his faults, which include a volcanic temper repeatedly and at times regretfully. Yeah. Okay, but we didn't see that in that case. All we've seen it was multiple times on his show. Yeah, no, it, it's pretty fucking obvious. And it's something that, I, maybe that's probably why, you know, I'm so vociferous about my objections to the way that this is being presented because, oh, I might identify with him just a little bit for having a, a fucking short fuse. But I spoke to sources. Oh, but according to a source I spoke to who are familiar with their relationship, Stephen Crowder's admissions often come after a sustained period of mental and emotional abuse. Like what? Like fucking what? Saying that she can't have free reign over the vehicle that he bought? Like, just fuck off, okay? The only person that I want to hear from in this case is, well... 
Crowder himself, and he put out this statement right here. Okay, I commented. Uh, there's a video for it, and I, I can link it to, or I can link it to you because you know he talks about it. But yeah, okay. I commented on the ongoing divorce on Tuesday, requesting privacy for the best interest of the family, but also to uh, by court order agreed upon by all parties. Interesting. Broken marriages are ugly. Yup, and you apparently seen the inciting action that was just you know a bridge too far. In them, people do ugly things. Myself, of course, in Included, and I would never claim otherwise. However, due to recently a recent misleadingly edited leaks to tabloid press, which yeah, we watched the video in totality, and I noted a couple of different times, and also noticed, and you guys can watch, you guys can watch that video. There's really little abuse about it. There seems like a lot of emotional manipulation on one side of it. I'm not saying that Stephen's blameless. Oh, he raised his voice. Oh, he didn't use the proper tone. He didn't. It wasn't so much what he said as much as how he said it. But yo, how did you arrive at that situation? Did he just wake up first thing in the morning and go, Ah, I just need to sit outside, have a cigar, or have a cigar, wait for my wife to want to leave the house, and then immediately spring some plans I had on honor. Yo, is somebody else who was dedicated to exercise, you're just gonna go ahead and throw a wrench into somebody's fucking gym plans like that just because you feel like going out? Interesting. You want to complain about wifely duties, but then at the same time, you want to have free reign and go everywhere. Interesting. Very fucking interesting. Yes, without context and not subject to consequences of the court. Yeah, no, exactly. Because you can just leak them. It's like, well, I didn't leak them. They just must have, like, hacked the ring cameras from two years ago to uh, the, the, probably the point in time where I just the thought that, you know, oh, the, the life and health of my kids because I wouldn't um, medicate your dogs was the one piece of evidence that came out. Hmm, interesting. But yeah, there was edits in those clips as well. And... How did they get onto the porch? What precipitated that argument? Interesting. Uh, the next uh, best option is truth. All right. And so today I have filed a motion to officially unseal all files as they relate to the matter of legal records. Oh, legal records, sorry. Finances, relevant medical records, including mental health history or evaluations, depositions, and any motions or sanctions from the courts of Texas. All right, so yeah. Hey man, you want to leak some shit? Fine, fuck it. Everything's coming out right now. Every single thing. And I've seen some brainlets opine on this. Oh, you're just trying to paint her as having mental health disorders. Well, no, hey. Everybody's. All of the shit. Every single one of it. And maybe, oh, maybe you might get some insight as to his opinion that, oops, maybe he picked wrong. Maybe he ended up running some red flags. Hmm, interesting. I will not be leaking private marital information or information to the press, but if the privacy agreements are not respected by all parties, I will address all that is a matter of irrefutable legal record in full context next week. So yeah, that's where we stand on this right now. I just find it incredibly interesting why this piece of recording gets leaked right now. Why now? of all points in time. And why was it that Candace Owens, uh, known liar, immediately, immediately had a video on the subject uh, pop up in such a small period of time where either, you know, hey, she had alerts on for Yar Yashar Ali, and she was just sitting in her studio waiting to think up a topic to record on, or some people are working in collusion in tandem in order to take down somebody that they thought, hmm, yeah, there's a good chance he's going to be successful over on Rumble. Oh, fuck he's that success or he's that successful oh better start doing some digging hmm that's why if you guys are as um befuddled confused intrigued by this subject i am um looking forward to is it might be the wrong term to use about the stream that i'm going to be doing tomorrow but it's it's going to be intensive there's going to be a lot of video clips there's going to be a lot of documents and yeah it's going to be a big boy so with all that said, and I need to I need to calm down myself. See, my volcanic temper just got the best of me at the beginning of the video. I still hate all of those people. I hate them all. Oh my god, they're just fucking atrocious people. This is a divorce. This is a marriage that went fucking sideways. It happens. Oh, guess what? At a rate of about 50% of the time. This shit gets dirty, but the way that people are opining on it, and I'll save you guys all the headache as well through running through, but feel free to check out any of the sources that are on there, and you can go ahead and check all of the detestable individuals 
individuals that are chiming in and trying to be armchair psychologists and run to the aid of some leaking bitch. So with all that said, thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I should follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.